Hey everybody, it's Stephen Glenn, and today I'm going to give you a brief overview of what it's actually like to have your tintype taken. So the first thing we do is compose the image. This is important because we don't have a ton of time after we've poured our plate because the process is done while the plate is wet. So if it dries, it won't turn out. So now we go into the dark room, and this is where the fun stuff starts to happen. We take a piece of metal and we coat it with this substance called collodion. And the collodion is going to create sort of a gelatin on the surface of the metal plate. Now we take the plate and we dip it in what's called silver nitrate. And all you need to know is the two things will react with each other and they'll make our plate photosensitive. So now that our plate is sensitized, we'll put it in this special holder called the dark slide. This just allows us to caddy the plate to the camera without exposing it to any light. And now we're ready to take the image. Now the exposure can be done a few different ways. We can use natural light, we can use strobes, or some combination of the two. However, in the studio I typically use strobes because it allows us to really freeze that motion and avoid any motion blur. Once the image is taken, we can go into the dark room and start the development process. At this point, you'll see the negative of the image start to appear on the plate. This will give you an idea of what the final image will look like. Once the development process is done, we can actually go out into the daylight without worrying about any light exposing the plate. The next step is actually to fix the plate. And what this does is it removes that excess silver. It removes that teal area and reveals the shadows of the image. And this is where the negative inverts into a positive and you get to see your final image up here. And this is a really magical moment in the process and really what drew me to the process in general. From here, we do a few other things. We dry the plate and we scan it in and we seal it to protect it from you know, minor scratches or tarnishing in the future. And that's the tintype process. So I know I may have oversimplified things. I just wanted to give you a better idea of what to expect and just a general appreciation of how much goes into each image. I really hope you've enjoyed this overview and I hope to see you at a tintype portrait session soon.